So the way that I set up my prayer binder is pretty much in the order that I pray. And of course, I like to be creative. And so I made this adventure um, item, which actually needs to go in my main planner. So I'm going to move that there. Set up my first section to be praise. And so one of the ways that I set up each and every section is as I sit down to pray throughout the years, I have built lists of each section's subjects. So there may be something that I'm praising God for that's happening in my life right now. But also, these are all the things that have come to me that I've read about God and different things that you can praise him for. And so I go down this list and just look up verses for each item and then go and praise God. And so I actually write out all my prayers. And so the first thing that I do whenever I start to pray is I go to my prayer section and I, and you can see here where I'm praying for, I'm praising God for being a stand, steadfast God, or I'm praying, praising God for being my refuge. So once I pray for that, then I move on to the next section. thing that I do is I confess and here are the things that I am typically found confessing over but I just wrote out so many different things that are hindrances to people in general and then I wrote a, um, a verse here just to remind me. Then requests. So if you get people that are asking you, hey, can you pray for me? Can you pray for anyone, then I keep a list of all of those people in here, but these are just a list of different things that I have prayed for over the years. The next section is I pray for myself, and I have a lot of different things that I've gotten here. I also love to listen to songs that gives me ideas on the different types of pray of things that I pray for myself for. And I have lots of different sections that these are just little reminders. Um, this right here are, these right here are affirmations from um, a few different books that I've read and, you know, just different things that I've asked for. Then I pray for my marriage. And again, a lot of different things that you can pray for when it comes to marriage. I love having a picture of the person or people that I'm praying for because it gives me the option to just really look at that person and pray for them, um, you know, while I'm writing. So I have a lot of different pictures, of course, of my husband and I, and I put them on each page um, so that I can look at that. And then I put a couple of extra pages at the end of each section. This is for my husband, and I have looked up so many different things to pray for your husband, a lot of different verses on supporting your husband, and I got a lot of these off Pinterest, tons of great resources. Also, we've done several personality tests and just praying for things that he is really naturally good at and asking God to increase that. Then I move on to my daughter. This is something that I put together um, for her at the beginning. And then I also found on Pinterest the different things to pray for college girls and um, college students in general. So, you know, that's that. And then I pray for my family members. And then I have my church and then my work. And then finally, I have the government.